everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. If you guys missed last episode, uh, we just got into a bunch of sub-stories. I asked for sub-stories, and then last episode was like, oh, you want sub-stories, huh? And then we got one every half block, and it kind of got borderline annoying. But that's fine, because, I mean, eventually, you know, we'll we'll weed them out. Even though we get more, like, implemented over the entire the entirety of the map every chapter. So... <laughs> Will we weed them out? I don't know. But uh, we've gotten ourselves into a relatively interesting situation. Um, last episode, we started a sub-story where uh, a young man and a young woman were fighting about something. The guy is thinking that she might be selling herself, which is all fucked up. So let's go find out what's going on. Huh? Is that... Isn't that Mina? The boyfriend wants to know how she's making so much cash. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Are you selling yourself? I'm not interested. What? But are you selling yourself? Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, sure. Are you a customer? Nani. What? A uh, customer? Mm. Don't tell me this girl's really selling herself. Oh, I I'm sorry. I guess not. Did you want something? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll try to keep the conversation going and see if I can figure out what she's doing. Uh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I feel like this would get me nowhere. I saw this is all new to me, ma'am. Sorry, this is all new to me. I don't know where to begin. Could you tell me how this works? Oh, so you're a first time customer. That's why you were, uh, so tentative. Ah, uh, sorry, the first time could be awkward and embarrassing. There, I think I managed to get the ball rolling. The girl's a little less wary, too. So, uh,. What would you like? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, well... Top or bottom? Which do you want? Uh, top or bottom? Top or bottom? Is this girl talking about position? It sounds like she's giving customers the option of being on the top or bottom. But I have to keep up this charade to figure out if she's really selling her body. Uh, top or bottom? Which do you prefer? <laughs> middle. <laughs> I'll go between and take the middle. Middle? There's no middle. Uh, oh, I guess there wouldn't be. Um, I'm no professional, but I'm pretty sure there's no middle. Then, uh, I'd like... Just give me the bottom, I guess. Uh, I'll take the bottom. Bottom. My panties, then. Just a moment. Huh? Your panties? Pardon? You said you wanted bottom, right? Well, yeah, I did. But why your underwear? I I don't get it. I'm, a... I'm sorry if you misunderstood, but I'm a Brucera girl? Brucera? That's not a word I know. It's short for Baruma and Serafuku. You know, bloomers and sailor suits. Brucera girls sell gym clothes. School uniforms and lots of other stuff they've worn before. In my case, though, I just sell my underwear. You sell your used underwear? Who would buy that? And why? Huh? Why? I guess men use the, to them to do pervy things. Why, what else would they be for? I don't really want to think about it. Okay, I get it. You were doing business with men who get excited over your secondhand skivvies. Don't judge! You're the one here trying to buy it! Yeah. No, actually. If you're not going to buy my underwear, then go away! I don't want to stand here talking to a pervert! Honey. What? Hey! Huh! Great. She's totally shut down now. I'm the adult here. I better set her straight. Shouldn't just ignore someone. Can you admit you sell your underwear? What's wrong with being a pervert? <laughs> I don't think that's the direction I want to go. Uh... Can you admit it? Can you look me in the eyes and admit it? Would you admit to other people that you sell underwear? Can you be proud of that? Uh-huh. Can you tell your parents, siblings, friends, or your boyfriend that people purchase your panties? I... Tachan, right? Your boyfriend is worried about you. Uh-huh? How did you know about Tachan? Actually, he put me up to this. He thought maybe you were selling your body. He wanted me to find out for sure. Tachan thought I would do that? I would never sell myself! Right. 
You're not selling your body. What you're doing is... What was the word for it again? Berucera? But whether you're marketing your underwear or your body, I think they're still both about selling your sex. Or can you proudly tell your boyfriend you do Bur Berucera? I... I don't... Huh? I don't... I don't want to do this either! Um, listen, I'm sorry for getting all emotional on you. Yeah. No, it's alright. Might have been too harsh. I didn't give you the chance to explain. Honestly, I never wanted to do this Berucera thing. Was it for money? Some of us are in it for that, but not me. I mean, it is nice having money, but it doesn't make me happy at all to buy things with money I got by selling my own panties. I guess not. I'm just so afraid of Sachiko. Sachiko? She runs things for all the Burusera girls in the area. Sachiko figures out where we should st should be standing on the streets. She also takes cares of the ta takes care of things if there's any trouble for the with a customer. In return, we all have to submit a part of our earnings to Sachiko once a month. So there's a girl overseeing the operation. Can't you tell Sachiko you want to quit? That's impossible. As long as she's around, I can't quit doing this Burusera thing. The high school girls around here are all Sachiko's friends. If I tried to stand up to her or quit, they'd all bully me. So you can't quit, huh? This is all sounding awfully familiar. I... I don't want to sell my underwear anymore! Mm. This is getting pretty complex. Her boyfriend won't be able to solve this on his own. Mina, do you know where I could find this Sachiko? I do, but... Why would you want to know? I don't want to go back to your boyfriend and tell him that you were peddling your panties. So I thought maybe I could persuade Sachiko to quit running this sketchy Burosera thing. <gasps> what? Wait, really? You do that? It would be wonderful if that worked, but I'm not sure Sachiko can be persuaded so easily. It's worth a try. Where can I find Sachiko? I think she's steering her Burosera shift near the hotel district. She's a long-haired girl wearing sack... Kurazaki Academy's uniform! <laughs> Sound it out. A long-haired girl near the hotel district. Got it. I don't know Sakurazaki Academy's uniform, though. Oh, I guess not. Sakurazaki's uniform has a white collar and a blue scarf. Sachiko sometimes wears a cardigan, but I'm not sure if she's wearing one today. A long-haired girl in a u school uniform with a white collar and a blue scarf, and she might be wearing a cardigan. Yes, I was going crazy because I couldn't talk to anybody about this Burusera thing. Please help me. You got it! What? I forgot the directions. What? Can you hit me with that one more time? Hit me, baby? We're on the hotel district. Okay, I got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, hotel district. Fuck. Fuck me. Isn't that, like, around here somewhere? I feel like I... I probably, like, passed it. On the... On the way here. Maybe not. At this point, Pink Alley, Sario Avenue, Nakamichi, Theater Avenue. Oh my god, that's a long way away. But at least there's a taxi you're like right there, so where are we? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be faster to go south and get in that taxi and then go to the hotel district via a taxi because Curio's lung capacity sucks dick! This man can't run very far at all. Oh, hey, ice cream, delicious. Wait, I could go in? <laughs> Ringer hut? Hell oh, fucking yeah, baby! Let me in the ringer hut! Welcome to ringer hut! What would you like? Uh... Oh! Is it a food place? Oh. Uh... Fuck it, just give me the gyoza, I guess. This is not exactly what I thought this would be. Can I, can I buy... Can I buy... Can I buy gyoza? I'm way too full for this. Oh! He doesn't want it. Then fuck me with the deep fried. Uh, salad. Never mind, ma'am. I thought I was gonna get anally rimmed here. Bye. Alright, I actually just took the liberty of taking the taxi. Um, instead of, like, cutting out two loading screens. Look at that! I cut out one big massive chunk! Hey, are you the girl? There's a high school girl. Could this be Sachiko, the head of the Burusera ring? There a problem? SHUT DOWN YOUR BURUSERA RING! This is literally not even close to the description I got, but... <laughs> hey, Sachiko! Shut down your Burusera ring! 
Berusera? Not my style. Uh-huh. You're not... I think you got the wrong person. I'm Yuki. Nani? <laughs> Nani? Hello. What up? Ah? Uh? Hey, asshole. You trying to take my girl's panties? What the fuck is wrong with you, bro? What? No. You got it all wrong. I was trying to shut down a Burusera ring. I'll shut you down first, you pervy fuck! Nobody gets in my Yuki's panties except me! You're dead, dude! I mean, kind of fair enough, dude. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I will I, I, I will give this guy uh, some credit because, like, absolutely fair enough, my guy, but also it would have, uh, would have, I don't know, would have not have hurt anybody to have a little bit more patience and understanding to, to a possible misunderstanding. Hello? Also, it'd be cool if you, like, landed a hit on me. I just made you look like a fucking fool. <laughs> Maybe hear people out. That's the lesson to learn here. <sighs> You're one tough perf. Listen, I'm not a perf. We could have sorted this out before I beat you senseless. But this is a big misunderstanding. Uh-huh. I think this guy mistook me for someone else. Why didn't you say so at the start? I did. You're the one who came out swinging. Oh, yeah, I guess I did, huh? Sorry, bro. And I'm sorry for slugging you. It's all right. Hope you score that uh, panties off the girl of your dreams. Bye-bye. Wait, that's not... Wait, oh, fuck, no. That's not... <laughs> I'm, I'm just no cure you, dude. I just know this guy, okay? <laughs> this poor bastard. Uh... Oh my god, I have my pick, huh? Do I, do I have more options? God, it really would have helped if I, A, remembered what she actually looks like from a previous playthrough, and B, just fucking listened to the description before. I just didn't think that the game was actually going to lend me so many options. I know you. Here's a high school girl. Could this be Sachiko, the head of the Burusero ring? Yes. Is something the matter? SHUT IT DOWN! Hey, Sachiko, shut down your Buru Sarah ring. Did you not just say this to somebody else? Like, like a quarter block away? Oh, well, well, well. I wonder who put you up to this. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're Sachiko, the Buru Sarah ringleader. Yes, I am Sachiko. Is there a problem with that? Uh, yeah, a big one. You're forcing girls to work in your Buru Sarah ring, and it's making some of them miserable. Uh, miserable? They make a lot of money selling used clothing. Why would that make them miserable? Daddy. What? The customers want the, what we offer, and we're not breaking any laws. Why shouldn't we do what we do? Um... <laughs> Think of your parents! <laughs> Excuse me, girls, sh girls shouldn't do this. It's got a little fucked up. Girls shouldn't be doing this. At your age, they should only be selling bath water. I mean, you need to act like ladies, with some sense of decorum and... Oh? So what you're saying is, it's fine for men to sell their underpants, but not women? Uh... That's pretty blatant gender discrimination. It's the 80s, man. Time to stop thinking so old school. Uh, it's, it's a health hazard, okay? It's pretty fucking disgusting. It's a health hazard. Think about it. Used underwear is unsanitary. Oh, uh, but isn't that exactly why men buy it? Huh... Besides, if you're worried about hygiene, I'm only selling underwear that I put on after taking a shower. So, there you have it. Ugh. <laughs> well, what you're doing is selling your sex. You're fooling around in the world of adults. When kids play with fire, they're going to get burned. Oh, well, well. I haven't gotten burned yet. We'll see what happens when I do. Nani? Are you finished? I'm busy. If you aren't buying, I'd like you to leave. She's not budging. Guess I'll let Mina know. Wait, what? For real? If I... Huh? If I pick the bottom option, would this have changed things? I talked to 20 people. I'm busy. If you aren't buying, you can leave. Dude, did I fuck up? Oh, hello. May I help you? Mm -hmm. Huh? Sachiko-chan. Oh, Sachiko-chan, your panties were so sweet, Sachiko-chan! I... 
I'm glad to hear that. Did you come back for more? Sachiko-chan, I love you! Huh? Sachiko-chan, I love you, Sachiko-chan! Love, love, love! Sachiko-chan! Sachiko-chan, I love you! <laughs> oh, I love you! Um, do you have a holes in your pocket? Maybe you should take that. Sachiko-chan, I love you, Sachiko-chan! Let's spend our life together, Sachiko-chan! I love you! I... I can't do that. Huh? Are you gonna butter some bread? I made up my mind, Sachiko-chan. I already decided. I'm spending the my rest of my life with your panties, Sachiko-chan! Forever! You're really scaring me! I love you, Sachiko-chan! We'll be together forever, Sachiko-chan! <laughs> I'm gonna butter you! No! Someone, please! I can't! I <laughs> wish that guy was still here. Did somebody get buttered? I'll butter your biscuit, bitch. <laughs> it's alright. You're safe now. Huh? Huh? Who the... You! Don't get in my way! Sachiko-chan is mine! Hey, sir, what the fuck's your deal? Slip and slide on this banana peel, bitch! I was really hoping that I- OH SHIT! I was gonna say, I was really hoping I could do like a heat move on him immediately. Can I just stomp the yard in this fast? Ah! Okay, sir? Sir? Fuck off! Have you considered not being a dick? Okay, ah, ah. Oh, what? Okay. I'm really glad that you figured out how to fucking wriggle your way out of that. You're better than the last guy I fought, because he, he didn't even fucking touch me. You alright? I... I'm okay. I told you, right? You played with fire, and you got burned. Uh, why did you help me? After all the horrible things I said to you. I would never just stand around while a high school girl got assaulted in front of me. That's... I don't... Sachiko-san! Mina! I'm sorry, but I can't do this anymore. I'm quitting your Boo Zera group. I'm really sorry. Please, let her quit. I'm her boyfriend. And don't bully her for quitting your, your group. I hate to admit it, but you were totally right. The Buru Sarah business is too risky a game for high schoolers to be playing. I never even thought about a girl like Mina being in danger for something I put her- uh, I put together. I'm going to disband this Buru Sarah biz right now. Oh, you- you are? Really? Yes, really. I'm sorry for everything, Mina. Yes! Yes! Dot Sean! I don't have to sell my panties anymore! Awesome, Mina John! Thanks for being honest with me. Wise decision. You made their day too. Thanks. I just don't ever want to be that frightened again. There's no need to thank me. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Besides, <laughs> I think you should only show your underwear to someone you really care about. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In more ways than one, cure you. Oh, them, them thighs, brother. Also, that's the end of the substory, huh? See, that's the shit I like, dude. The game is just like so chock full of these little stories that are just so fucking good. I just, they're, they're very well written and just, you know, just kind of little bite-sized little stories. And that's, that's kind of like possibly one of my favorite things about this game. Um, that being said, I mean, the main story is nothing to shake a stick at. I'll, I'll tell you something, my guy. That main story is pretty fucking sick. By the way, I've been curious. Um, For those of you guys that are watching this series, what is your um history with the series? Have you have you played Yakuza before? Is this your first foray into the series? Um, Let me know, because I, I, you know, I love, I would love the idea of introducing this game to somebody. Also, this is totally the fucking place I've been looking for, isn't it? I'm just... You know, maybe I shouldn't have the foresight from like a previous fucking playthrough, but this is this is definitely what I've been looking for. Hello. Should I have found a 
It's literally gonna be this building. Like, spoiler, this is- this is ultimately where the story is gonna wind me up next, but... Maybe I have to do something before I should know that. This is- this is why people are like, Blind Let's Play suck. This guy already fucking knew that he had to go to this place. Let me see. It's Shichifuku Street. Okay. That being said, again, I have no fucking idea where I'm supposed to be right this second. It's kinda... Sucks. Muck, pull, fuck! I wanna go bowling! I have an idea of what might need to happen beforehand, and like... If we go d in the direction of the bowling alley, we might actually... I actually get some answers, I was really hoping that I could just fucking avoid this. Excuse me, sirs! You're fucked! Oh, you're gonna fuck around with a Kiryu, okay? This man has a fucking plan, huh? It involves this fucking car, and your face, and my fucking snazzy shoes, and your knee, unfortunately. Hey, fuck you, sir. Fuck you. Oh, piece of this, you cheetah. Huh? I bet you cheat on your wife. Got him. Fucking dab. I'll have mercy. When you're dead! Wait, no, I don't kill people. I gotta go. Um... Yeah, it's entirely possible that I have to go like uh, this way, ish, maybe. Is that the bowling alley? If I hang a left up here, <sighs> Think it, thinking it is. If uh, if this is not what the game wants me to trigger right now, then oh good. <laughs> is this actually it? Hello? This might be it, or it might be a sub story. I'm really not remembering. Huh? Yikes! Oi. Hey, you all right? Uh, eh. Figures I would bump into some swaggering punk. Oi! Oi! You are an old man! This isn't going to end well. Are you alright? Uh, no! What's the big idea, yo? I'm sorry! That's, uh, uh, watch your step, shit for brains! You're not hurt or anything, are you? Asshole! Alright, if that's how this. If, if that's how you want this to play out. Manny. What? Uh, I'm sorry! No, I mean, I'm in a rush, see? So please get lost, you punk ass so and so! The fuck was that? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> it is a sub story, damn it! Damn, Yankee! I, uh. I don't. Hello? Was really hoping that. Okay, I mean, I guess we'll do this. Do I? Have I ever seen this? Ever? I don't recall this. Huh. Again, I literally just said this last episode. Maybe it was this episode, but there might be sub-stories that I've not seen, because I definitely have not completed all of the sub-stories. What's going on? This is rough- this is a rough-looking crowd. <laughs> Oi! I'm so freaking stoked, man! A rare street show by the Yokomichi Silvers. Uh. Too right! Those guys are rock and roll gods! Look at this bitching crowd. They drew all these punks without an any ads or nothing. Crazy Kyo and the Yokomichi Silvers fucking rule. And keep your pants on. But I heard that Yokomichi Silvers are gonna hold a Q&A panel too. No effing way. They're famous for never saying a word and letting their music do the talking. I wonder what the hell they'll talk about. Sounds like some band's doing an event here. Must be popular with the local punks. Huh? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Is that? Hey, it's that fucking weirdo! What up, my guy? Ah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at these people. Holy cow. What are we gonna do? Hey, you. Yikes! <laughs> Gee whiz, pal. I nearly peed my- uh, What are you doing chuffing around behind me, you ugly knob? Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry. I thought I should apologize for bumping into you earlier. Oi! Who? Oh, you're that man! No, I should apologize for my own careless- I mean, whatever! Piss off! Um, sure. Are we falling in love? Huh? Oh, wait a second. Could you possibly be unaware of who I am? Huh? Are you asking if we met before? We bumped into each other? If we did, I don't recognize you. Yeah. Oh, wait a second then! So- you really don't know who I am. Willikers, what a relief! Huh? I'm sorry, I was rude not to introduce myself. Name's Kyo, but my stage name is Crazy Kyo. I'm the vocalist in a band. Let me guess, the Yokomichi Silvers. 
the same band those young punks they're excited to see. Aren't you guys some kind of legendary Yankee band? Yes, that's us! We're doing a street show here later! Oh, sorry to bug you before your show. Good luck. Whoa! Where the hell do you think you're going, old man? Wait, please, sir! Don't go! Huh? Maybe... Maybe you can save me. Save you? <laughs> Nani? Nani?! Are you even hardcore in the slightest? Nope. Did you just see that woman get raptured in front of us? Fuck, man, this world is so scary. As a joke, we tried dressing all punk at a show. To our shock, we got pretty popular with the Yankee crowd. But now we have to keep up this charade full time. Over time, we gained a fan base of wannabe punks, and the Yokomichi Silvers became heroes to this rebellious youth of Japan. That whole style is called Yankee now. Huh. There's more to running a band than I thought. So, what did you mean by saving you? I... Uh, actually... I want you to teach me how to be a hardcore hooligan! Okay. Teach you? To be a Yankee? Yes! You see, for today's event, we also have to do a live panel. A meet and greet for the fans. But every member of the Yokomichi Silvers, myself included, are law-abiding ch uh, choir boys. We've never even shoplifted. If we were to talk in front of real Yankee, they'd realize that we're phonies. Fake punks, huh? Now that you mention it, the way you talk doesn't match how you dress at all. Right? So if we spoke to our fans, we'd lose all our credibility and popularity in an instant. Or worse, what if they want revenge on us for fooling them? Okay, but do you have to do this panel thing? Why don't you just skip it? I don't want to do it either! But our agency says we need to hone our speaking, speaking skills if we want to stay popular. They're making us do this. We've been avoiding every situation where we might be, have to talk instead of just performing. But now... Got it. So, you want me to teach you how to behave like a Yankee so you can talk like one. But why me? Why? Well, that would be because you're my ideal of what a hooligan should be. That confident demeanor. Your razor-sharp glare! The barbed wire attitude that says, TOUCH ME AND GET CUT! And yet, you also exude a sense of kindness. A guy who extends a helping hand to the weak. The hooligan with the heart of gold. That's my ideal Yankee. Well, yeah. I am Yakuza. Kind of. You can teach us so we won't blow our cover. More than that, I think you can give us Yankee wisdom that will propel the Yokomichi Silvers to new heights in hooliganism. Please. If we lose this chance, the Yokomichi Silvers may have to break up. Please teach me how to carry myself like a true Yankee. Uh, yes, my guy. Am I ever going to find the story? Okay, then. I'm not sure how useful I can be, but I'll try. <laughs> really? Thank you so very much! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name? It's Kiryu. Okie dokie, Kiryu-san. Give me just a second, please. I'll go get the others. Oh, this is not gonna- Oh, what up, my guys? Sorry to keep you waiting, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Hello. This is our drummer, Sleazy Tarasha. Hey there, I'm Tarashi! My stage name is Sleazy, but I have no experience with the ladies. Never even seen a boob. And this is our bassist, Bad Boy Aku. I'm Aku. Hobby's caring for elders. And this is Kiryu-san, who's going to impart the ways of true Yankee-style hooliganism onto us. Please to teach, please teach us, Kiryu-san. Huh, you guys are so polite and proper. I'm starting to wonder if there's anything I can do for you. Oh no, please don't say that! We're all pretty gu good guys at heart, so please help us! In your case, being pretty good guys is the problem. But I did agree to do this, so somehow... We have to turn you guys into hard-edged punks. <laughs> oh, yes, please! Huh. How can I show you guys how to be tougher, though? <sighs> well, maybe you could come up with an opening remark for little old me? Your opening remark? Yes, I want to kick off our panel with authority. Being hooligans, we shouldn't come across as weak or hesitant. Please, Kiryu-san. I need a singer of an opening line to set the tone. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here. <laughs> Start your wrenches. Hello, but in English. <laughs> I really like how this is in English by itself. This doesn't translate that well, does it? Um, 
Yo, this is hard as fuck. This is hard as fuck, dude. You should start with something like, Dearly Beloved, we are gathered here today. Dearly Beloved? Isn't that a Kingdom Hearts song? We want to come across as hooligans, real yeah. punks! And it gets important, even for rebels. Think about it. Your fans are coming out all this way to see you guys play. You've got to give them a formal greeting, or they'll think you guys don't care. That's certainly true in general, but do you think our fans expect that kind of courtesy from uh, us? Of course. For this sort of thing, contrast is key. A tough guy can look even cooler by deliberately putting it on a front of courteousness. That's what I think. Gee, I don't know. Well, I am more comfortable with the formal style, so I will start with Dearly Beloved. I'll use it to thank our fans for coming and out and supporting oh. us. Oh, oh, here you, son! Question? Huh? What is it? Well, the agency told me to tell the fans about how I spend my days off when I'm not rehearsing or performing. Your days off, huh? Any sense that fans would want to know how their heroes live from day to day? Tarashi, how would you spend a day off? Well, I make a habit of getting up bright and early so I can make some pancakes. After breakfast, I take my darling puppy, Chippy John, to the park for a mid-morning stroll. And then, we have lunch at a chic cafe to rest our feet. On our way home, we do a little window shopping. After that, I binge on the dramas I've got on my VCR until it's bedtime. Uh, you just described a typical girl's day. <laughs> uh, sorry, I really made you sound like a fashionable young woman. I was so surprised I got intense. Ty, I'm so scared. Oh no, cheer you, son. You shouldn't shout like that. You made Sleazy Tarachi cry. That's a bit much, don't you think? Oh dear. You should say sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, my bad, Tarachi. It's. It's alright. I was just startled. I was expecting it, that's all. So, uh, how would I spend my day off? Uh, yeah, right. One thing's clear. You can't tell the fans how you really spend your free time. No, I guess not. But then, what should I say? What would I be doing instead? <laughs> You're definitely rescuing puppies, my guy. Say you rescue puppies on your day off. I rescue puppies? Curious son, I'm not sure I can really picture myself looking cool doing that. Tarashi, think about it. There are plenty of Yankee who just act tough and nothing more. They're a dime a dozen. But you guys, the Yokomichi Silvers, are street heroes. When real men get tough, rather than beating everyone up, they start wanting to protect the innocent. Uh, you're right. In action comics, even the grittiest hero often fights to defend the weak. See? I told you so. Saving your, uh, saying you rescue puppies will instantly win the hearts of your fans across the land. I get it now. Letting people catch glimpses of compassion behind a savage exterior will give a commanding presence that's irresistible to any woman. Here you, son. Huh? You're bad boy Aku, right? What's the matter? What will I say? Huh. Aku, you didn't get a topic like Tarashi? Nope. The agency told him to wing it. He's free to talk about whatever, even though he's practically mute. Bad boy Aku even has a backstory. Locked up in juvenile reformatories, from birth, bad boy Aku crushed packs of punks before he even finished preschool. Mm. Huh. Your agency's trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. Aku's a man of few words with a crazy backstory. What should he talk about to make him sound hardcore? Definitely, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta lean into that, that comic relief, my guy. Tell them a funny story. Curious, cool. son. Does that sound like a Yankee thing to talk about? Plus, I'm not sure Bad Boy Aku could handle that. I understand, but I think punks need a sense of humor too. Being dark and edgy all the time is tiring. They need some comedy. Mm. Huh? If you say so. Think I could do it? We'll go over the details of what everyone has to say. Let's work it all out now. Yes, please! I don't think this is gonna go very well for them at all. <laughs> also, I know we're over time, but we're finishing this sub-story. Yokomichi Silvers, we're almost ready for you. Uh -huh. Oh, is it time? I mean, fine. Ah! Yikes, sorry. I mean, you could come on whenever you're ready. 
I'll be watching from the audience. Yes, please watch us. We're going to hit this hardcore Yankee thing out of the park. <laughs> We're gonna kick ass and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that guy. Here they are. Put your hands together for the Yokomichi Silvers. Oh, y'all, these guys are fucking funky fresh. Yo, Crazy Kyo-san! Bad boy Aku over here! Oh, check out Crazy Kyo-san's uh, original ESP guitar. Spoken rad style. That man's got the Yankee look nailed. Wow, they are popular. When they're not talking, they do look like real gangster. Greasers. Sopping wet high rock and roll after school. Tarashi Aku, hit it, boys! Was that the name of a song? I'm gonna be honest, I stumbled over that line so many times. I... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck that said? <laughs> that concludes today's performance by the Yokomiji Silvers. Just listening to their songs. I can see why Yankee kids across Japan look up to Crazy Kyo's band. Now, we would like to move on to a special meet and greet panel discussion with the band members. Whoa, no way! No way! Crazy Kyo's actually gonna talk to us? That's totally mental! I can't fucking wait to hear what bad boy, boy Kyaku's voice! Here's where it gets real. They better pull this off. Uh, Yo, Grease Hounds! Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today after a live performance by yours truly, the Yokomichi Silvers! Please accept our sincerest gratitude for joining us here and now! Uh-oh. <laughs> <coughs> On behalf of the Yokomichi Silvers, I'd like to convey our best wishes to all of you, our esteemed guests, as well as to your loved ones. With that, I shall conclude my remarks. Thank you ever so much for your kindest attention and continued devotion. Did we come to a concert or a wedding? Fans are looking rattled. Having Kyo start with Dearly Beloved didn't go over so well. <laughs> awesome! Thank you, Crazy Kyo-san. Next, we would like to hear from Sleazy Tarashi-san and Bad Boy Aku-san as well. First up, Sleazy Tarashi-san. Here's a question we got from a fan. How do you usually spend your days off? Oh, uh, uh, when I get off, I rescue puppies mostly. Uh, Taraji-san, what are you going on about? Come on, man. Can't you picture it? A beat-up cardboard box in the pouring rain and cute little puppies in huddled inside, shivering from the cold. Now picture sleazy Taraji-san tenderly holding an umbrella over the puppies, using his broad back to shelter them from the wind. Imagine it! I'M IMAGINING IT! <laughs> OH SHIT! IT'S TOO FUCKING COOL! That's what makes Taraji sound the badass that he is! <laughs> Those little guys flip out and mob me when I get home. Little twerps are nosier than I thought. <laughs> he kept them?! FUCK YEAH! <laughs> Good. The fans love it. Even Rebels have a soft spot for puppies. Thank you, sleazy Taraji-san. To close it out, it's time for Bad Boy Aku-san to say a few words. Funny thing happened yesterday. Bad Boy Aku-san? Uh, he's gonna tell us a funny story? Shh! Shut up and listen! This is Bad Boy Aku-san we're talking about! No way he's just gonna piss us off! Yesterday, went to a phone sex club. I'm sorry, you fucking what? You fucking what, mate? Then, I realized. I don't talk much. Useless on the phone. Didn't get off. <laughs> I guess that didn't go over well. <laughs> what the fuck? Why not? That's fucking awesome, dude. Is that guy... Is that guy alright? I think that guy's having a stroke. you son. Were you watching? Yeah. Saw everything. Good work. you son. We tried to apply what we learned from you about the ways of the Yankee to our panel. The fan response was downright awful. Yeah, it seemed that way. Guess I gave you guys bad advice. Here. No, it's our fault. Trying to get something else to solve our someone else to solve our problems was where we went wrong in the first place. To depend upon not upon others, but only ourselves, to face our challenges head on, apply directly to the forehead, to fight our own battles, that's what rock and roll is all about, right? Ah! I'm with you all the way! Ditto. Kiryu san! I think we learned something important today, thanks to you. Thank you very much. Please accept this as our thanks. A charismatic photo. 
Y yeah! Keep an eye on us, Kiryu-san. The Yokomichi Silvers are going places, one way or another. Uh, well, that song's already taken. Yeah, give it your best shot. We will! Bye! How does your hair stay up like that? That's fucking crazy. People sure have all kinds of challenges to face. At least those guys are diligent. They should survive the rough road of the in entertainment world somehow. Don't give up, Yoko Michi Silvers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen that. I can't believe, like, what the fuck, dude? That was a fucking hilarious story! That really should have fucking riled the crowd. Anyway, that is the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked that episode, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe, follow the remainder of the website, please do so. And also consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for everything I just mentioned in the description down below. As always, thanks again for watching. Go back next time for another episode of Yakuza Zero when we might actually find the story. Maybe.